Jace Tunnel here. Today, we're talking about not lima beans, but black mangrove seeds. We've got some of these washing in, and uh, they people always say, well, where are these lima beans coming from? No, these are actually seeds from a bush that lives up in the bay. And they're the ones that, they're real green, they stay green all year long, and they're right at the shoreline. And they have these weird roots uh, all around them, which I'll talk a little bit about. But these beans, if you pick them up, you'll no notice right away that they're not a lima bean because you can kind of uh, spread them open like this. And then it looks like they have leaves in there. And lots of times you'll find them and they have this little thing hanging off of it. That's the root that comes in. So this root will actually stick into the sand and then it will grow up. Now the bush itself, um, if you're on the backside of Mustang Island, you're around Port A, you're North Padre Island, uh, actually all the way up, uh, up the Texas coast, you'll find these bushes uh, that line the shoreline. And they have these roots that come up called uh, pneumatophores. And those are like snorkels. That's how the plant is able to breathe because it lives in these conditions where, you know, if you've ever stepped in nasty, smelly mud that stinks, uh, there's like no oxygen in, in there. Well, that's where these things like to live. So no oxygen or little to no oxygen in the soils there. And then that's why they have those properties so that they can still survive. Now their leaves are also interesting in that if you go up to the bush and you look at the leaves, they lots of times have salt on them. Uh, they excrete salt uh, on, on their leaves and that's how they um, are able to survive. Now this isn't something uncommon. You know, we find this every year. We've got a ton of these seeds washing in. And so this is really good for the plant and being able to disperse and get to new areas. And so you can imagine if you're a plant and uh, you only like a specific area and you don't have very many seeds, you probably wouldn't survive. And that's what I'm gonna talk about next is that lots of y'all probably remember that crazy freeze we had in 2021. And this would have been in, I think it was like February. And we had a lot of sea turtles that were washing up and that were getting cold stun. But we also got all these mangroves had like ice all over them. That's how cold it was. And it was for a couple of days and they don't like that. And so these plants ended up dying or, or I'd say um, most of them ended up dying because not all of them, obviously, because there's a lot of them that have come back. And so that's a good thing. So since 2021, um, we do have these mangroves coming back and they're not as big as they were, but they will eventually get there unless we get another hard freeze. Now there's another mangrove that we talk about and that's the red mangrove. And that has really long seeds and that kind of look like asparagus or something like that if you see them washing up. And after hurricanes and stuff, sometimes, or swells, you know, sometimes we do find some of those washing up. And we had some up until 2021, we had quite a few that were up in the bays, especially like Aransas Bay. Um, there were some on the backside of Mustang Island. But man, I'll tell you what, after the freeze, none survived, zero. Zero red mangroves survived. So um, I just wanted to point out the difference between the black mangrove and the red mangrove. So now you know what these seeds are that are washing up on our beaches. Okay, well, that's all we got for today's episode of Beach Coming. Hope you enjoyed it and go tell your buddies about all these black mangrove seeds washing up. Bye.